Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at something pretty cool. It's made by great video makers. They make great lighting for video and photography. So let's take a closer look at this thing. So I got this on Amazon for a pretty good deal. They had it on a lightning deal. Normally it goes for about 150 bucks, but I think I picked this up for around 125 to 130, something like that. All right, so we got a box in a box, which is nice because our contents are more secure in there. So let's do this again. All right, guys, so not only are we double boxed, we're also in a bag, looks like. Oh, well, look at that. So we got a logo here up front that says, Great Video Maker. So far guys, you can see how good this thing is packed. So, and it comes with this really, really nice carrying case. So, you know, if you were gonna go portable with these guys, this is a nice little thing to have. All right guys, so let's see what's in here. And it appears to be just a bunch of like empty space here and there, which is okay. I think these bags probably accommodate a bigger kit, maybe like with four lights. So this one has two lights in it. You know, plus if you had batteries and all that stuff, you're gonna need a lot more room. So that's kind of nice that I guess there is some room in here. So let's go ahead and pull out the lights themselves. All right, so I wasn't sure if mine was gonna come with barn doors, but apparently this one was included with barn doors. For some reason, I was thinking they were separate. So yeah, guys, this is what it looks like. This is a black one. It looks a little dirty in the back right here, but maybe that's just a film. Yeah, there's a covering. There's a film covering. Let's go ahead and take that off cover here that just comes right off and uh, yeah now you got a really nice finish there so initially it looks really really good i definitely like the uh, brushed look here so we have two batteries here that we can connect i don't have too many of these things i only have a couple if i'm going to be static i might be just using the plug so that should be included with this kit here you choose if you want the battery or the adapter here and then we have our color temperature here from 23, which is surprising that it goes that low, to all the way to 6800. And then here we have intensity. And obviously here is our digital readout display that tells us where we're at. So we got these little wing nuts on the side here. So there's a little foam holding it together, that's nice. And I'm guessing these barn doors just open up. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. That's really cool that it came with barn doors. Not that I need them probably, but it sure looks a lot more pro. So we got 480 LEDs. So this should be plenty for my setup. I have a small room. All right, so let's go ahead and unpack everything. So we got our second light here. Very nice. So we do have tripods for the lights. It does have the quarter inch screw here so you can use it for other things. So it's pretty versatile in that. So obviously we got two of those. So it comes with two adapters. They are 15 volt, three amp adapters. And there's two of them for each light. And also there's a relatively long power cord that is also included. Of course, this ain't probably gonna get you too far because you know, if you wanna pick your lights up super high, you might have to have more extensions. All right guys, and that's pretty much it. So the last couple things that are left are the diffusers and the hardware that comes with it. And that's it for this bag. All right, guys, so let's take a closer look in what's in these little baggies here. All right, so you get a bunch of hardware here, guys. So I'm guessing these are little extensions that you put on the light there so you can, you know, have the diffuser either close to the bulbs or farther away from them, depending, I guess, how, how you want to diffuse. So the four mounting points are right here, so they're exposed. So there's no way to have the barn doors closed and have the diffuser on, so they'll have to be always open i'm not sure if i need the barn door so let's go ahead and take this one off and see what that looks like so there's just like these four little 
screws here that are holding it on, little bolts. And as you can see guys, the barn door completely just comes off where this thing can sit on there. Now, if you wanted to go, you know, a lot farther away, you could use the extensions. You can either use these super long ones here. So that's quite a f distance there. I don't know why you would need that much. Maybe there's special reasons for that. Or you can use the little small ones here they give you, which seems to be about perfect. But we're probably going to go ahead and leave these little ones on here, the little extensions here. All right, guys, so these little diffusers, they look a little rough, so I'm thinking they should have some kind of little film on them. So, okay, so there is something there. Uh, it's pulling off pretty easily. Same thing on the other side. All right, guys, so before we put the diffuser on there, let's go ahead and power this thing on and see what it looks like. So I'm going to use the AC plug that was provided with this. So I got it already plugged in, and at, when it's plugged in, it has a little red light. So we're just going to plug it in. And then we're going to switch to adapter, which is the one. The two is the battery. The one is the adapter. And we are on, guys. All right, so as you can see, whenever I'm turning the knob, the digital display here, you know, shows me. Okay, so it goes as low as 10%. So we're going to go ahead and stay on that. So whenever I move to this one, it automatically switches to whatever I'm using, which is super cool that you don't have to push any extra buttons to switch between the two. So, All right, so this is very warm, and, you know, you get cooler as you go up. It's extremely cool there. So the camera is out of exposing, so it's not going to be what it really is. But so there's two different LEDs in here. As you can see, there's the, these orange or these warm ones. And then there are these cool ones, you know, and they're all in between each other. If I go down all the way to cool, you can see that only the white ones are lighting up. And if I go and then as I keep going and going and going, we're getting yellow. So and it's very yellow, guys. I know you probably can't see, but it's extremely extremely warm but yeah you actually you can see right there on the wall how warm that is maybe we should go ahead and do that and do that spot there all right so i'm going to increase the intensity just a little bit well maybe not that much just a little bit so you guys can see a little better so i'm all the way on the warm so you can see it jumps pretty hard at 24. 23 is like ultra yellow and then 24 is like you know there's there's kind of a big jump step there but as we go it's pretty fluid after that so 32 is actually still very warm, by the way, guys. So here we're getting into the more normal light where it's pleasing to the eye, about 44 or so. And then we're going to get into a more cooler light once we hit about 48 to 5. But it's not cool. It's just like really white, I guess. And then we get to, you know, after we pass this point, we're getting into... I would say blue light, bluey, more very cool white. So, and all the way, you know, this is the coolest to get. So, in any case, guys, you get the idea. So, here's a quick pan from yellow to blue, a little bit slower, and then back the other way. All right, well, hopefully that was helpful, guys. So let's go ahead and put the diffuser on here. I'm kind of excited about that. And uh, see if we can get some more softer light out of this thing. All right, so all we got to do is put the diffuser on here. And I'm keeping the rough side up and the shiny part down. All right, and that's what that looks like, guys. You can see here with the diffuser what it looks like. It appears to be we have a much warmer kind of light. So before, I don't know if you guys can remember, the wall was more spotty. So you can see that the, the, the wall is not spotty anymore as much. It's more washed out. So you were getting a lot of even light, you know, through the area. So, all right, guys. So let's go ahead and put this light on here on the stand and see what that looks like. So there's this little rubber piece that you'll have to take off. And so this is the kind of type of connection here that just goes on top and then you tighten it. So it's a pretty convenient way you know, just sliding it over and then tightening it. And that's it, you're, you know, you're good to go. And if you need to move it around, you know, you just loosen it and then you can just spin it anywhere you want and tighten it. But yeah, guys, this is super nice. Like, I really, really like the way this looks. Let me go ahead and turn this thing off so you guys maybe can see it better. 
And the cool part is, is that it's pretty budget overall. I mean, $150 is, it's a reasonable amount of money, but you're, you know, getting pretty good quality here. This is all aluminum here. Obviously this little piece here is plastic. You know, you got a really large display showing you what's going on here, which is kind of nice. Honestly, I prefer a larger display because, you know, it's easier to see. So for around 150 bucks, you get a tripod, you get the lights, you even get barn doors, guys. If you want barn doors, you even get barn doors with this kit, which is really cool. And obviously you get the diffusers, which in my opinion are important because LED lights are already kind of harsh, you know, and direct. So you definitely want to diffuse them. All right, guys. So before I let you go, I want to test one more thing, which I just unplugged my fill light and was running on this battery. So these are the NPF batteries from Sony, which are very popular. And that's what goes in here. So obviously if you needed to run off of batteries, you would have to get some extra battery. So I'm pretty sure that this won't run on one battery, but let's go ahead and try it. Maybe it will. I'll, maybe it'll surprise me because most of these things, I don't think they run off of one battery. And the reason I'm saying that is because the battery voltage is not enough. As you can see guys, it's a 7.4 volt battery and you're going to need two of these to hit the voltage that's required for this guy. Yeah, and just like I suspected, it doesn't work. So yeah guys, so I just wanted to mention that about batteries. So here on the other one, one thing that we have not looked at is the little stats here in the back. So there's the model number, is a 480 LS, 29 watts of power, takes anywhere from 12 to 15 volts. and the temperature is 23 to 68 and the size is 260 by 265 by 48. So very, very good size, guys. It's not huge. Here's my hand and it's not tiny. So, you know, if you need, if you're like a beginner, kind of like I am and you need a light, I think this is a great size. You know, anything bigger would be probably a little bit more overwhelming to fight with and manage all the time. So I would say these guys are about the right size, the 480s. All right, guys, so if you need lights, I think these are great options. So you get two panels here, you get two stands, you get the diffusers, you get the barn doors, and you get two power adapters to power them. And all of this for 150 bucks, which I think is a pretty good deal either way you look at it. So this company has a pretty good reputation and I'm sure these things will last for a long time. So if you're interested in something like this, then I'll leave some links in the description. So check those out. Guys, if you like this video, then hit that like button. And also guys, if you enjoy videos like this and you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.